I have a confession. There is a death of manual testing now. Is AI testing or the testing becoming the obsolete? Is AI taking over? Should you be worried about the career that you already have? If you're already a manual tester or planning to switch to automation or probably in a way of fresher or this, right? Is manual testing dead? Yes, guys, this is not another clickbait video where I will be discussing about that, okay, manual testing is not dead, what will happen to manual tester? But in this video, I want to give you a seven important points which are very, very important that you need to listen to this video because I'm gonna give you with the example, what exactly is this happening right now? Because I'm running QA job board where I have talked to hundreds plus HRs right in last four months. What exactly they have in your mind regarding the manual testing? I'm working right now as a tech lead with 30 plus people. What is happening in our company also to the, especially the manual testers, to the manual testing also. Let's see with the real examples. All right, first one, which is market demand and career growth. Guys, this is a very important topic. Fast paced new companies, for example, in our tech union also, we had, I remember almost like 60 plus overall QA quality engineers, but now Mexico maximum number of manual testers which were there right whatever even though definitely manual testing is not that it is not going anywhere but the important thing is the number of manual testers now they have only two choices either they learn automation or either they basically switch to another company and recently what i have seen the trend which is going on is we our manual testers actually got decreased and number of automation tester, the people who know automation are actually increased. So this is one of the trend I want all of you to be. Should you be worried? The answer is yes. If you are a manual tester, should you be worried? The answer is absolutely yes. Adding automation, adding AI, because if you are not adding automation, there is another thing which is waiting for you, which is AI. And because AI is going to replace the QA, which we are going to discuss also. Another second kind of a sword, which is coming. You are right now not learning automation. Another sword, which is coming is AI also. So you need to pay attention to this. Solution, learn about automation leverage the AI tools, automate the repeated tasks, learn automation anyhow. Second important point, which is increasing the speed and efficiency. Guys, in our organization also, what we have seen is to increase speed, to increase the efficiency, people, we need to add automation to the industry. Even though we are doing manual testing for the releases, for the new features and everything, we have strict guidelines, strict rules, and even strict commitments from the upper management to automate the scenario cyber side during these sprints. I don't know it is happening for you, but big companies like BrowStack, Wingify, Planchion, and even the Techion, right? Multiple number of companies. If it is a good company, they are targeting in sprint automation, which is you test something as a manual tester and you automate in the same sprint, same thing, which is happening to increase the speed and efficiency. So what you need to do, of course, the real thing that you need to do is invest in learning the automation frameworks for Selenium, Cybris, and Play right? Learn coding. Anyhow, if you are a manual tester, trust me, 2025 and 2026 will be very hard for you for survival. Okay. So again, this is very, very important. Third important point, which is cost effective net ROI. Guys, ROI is something which is maximum number of companies are working on. Nowadays, I remember we had 15,000 test cases, which we have basically automated and people, there are daily number of test cases, which are getting increased. Instead of hiring the more number of manual tester, people are definitely our company, HRs, even all of them are basically are hiring for automation. Even though nowadays, at what I have seen in interview, my other colleagues and everything, they are asking the AI related questions also that have you used this? Have you used AI something in your project also? So if you are not moving towards the automation crux, which is very, very important, this is important. Second important thing is your knowledge of CI CD, which is knowledge of Git, Jenkins, Docker, AWS, which is also that you need to add apart from this, apart from the automation knowledge that you have, right? So this is very, very important, which is coming on. Fifth important point, which is AI driven intelligent testing, which is nowadays coming. Sir, what is it, sir? There are multiple tools, the multiple things, even in our automation also, we are adding a lot of self-healing concept related to AI, how we can generate test plan by using AI, how you can generate the number of cases, number of permutations, everything by using the AI. We have our private LLMs, which are running, which we are leveraging directly. So these are the things right now, which are working in the good companies. So what you are doing, you are still stuck with your manual job, right? Which is very concerning. That's what I'm telling you also focus, focus, focus guys, 2025 and 26 is all about adding automation and adding AI automation and AI knowledge also, which are the two primary expect 
any how you have to add into your skills plus ci cd concepts blood framework blood coding knowledge also that you need to add right six important point which is shift toward the quality engineering which means nowadays people we are using shift left testing where testers are basically included into early into the uh, software builds which means we have more number of time we can prepare our test plan better test coverage better which is very very important and that's what exactly happening right now in big companies so you need to make sure that yes if you are a manual tester previously it was very okay that you can create a test plan test cases and everything you are happy everything was fine nowadays our manual testers are changing branch they should know git our manual testers are basically are responsible for managing the environments they should know about the knowledge of environment setup our engineers are also responsible for writing the at least p0 or high level or hotfix pipeline so they should know automation also so i have seen but i have also know i handle more than 30 people and nowadays what i have told to my team my people also that okay out of 10 people who are manual tester seven are targeting to switch to automation this year and that is exactly what i'm telling you all of you know also that your task now for this year is basically figure it out 3 4 months learn automation learn the ai things which are basically comings how people are using it add into your skills and everything there is no depth of manual testing which i am basically discussing right now but definitely there is a depth of manual testing jobs which in the market which i have seen especially while running the qa job board if you know qa job board i am already running qa job board where we have 30 plus jobs daily where we entered and i have a direct connect with 100 plus hrs throughout the india especially bengaluru chennai pune and delhi ncr there is a strict guidelines directly we are not hiring for manual we are hiring only a role for automation even though the work we will give you as a manual <laughs> that's again a simple thing so that's what happening do let me know guys what do you think in 2025 and 26 will happen automation and ai will rule or do you think is still manual testing testers will be there in the system they will become comfortable they will not change and they will survive this 2000 market what do you think do let me know in the chat i will wait for your reply thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video automation tester blueprint batch to lx is getting launched make sure you check it out where we will be learning in 4 months we will be becoming the automation tester from scratch we are adding live pro projects doing coding exercises understanding everything from scratch by removing the coding fear by following a proper road map everything is going live you can check out the description thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye enjoy stay awesome stay learning and make sure that you learn and become an automation expert